dribble series. The themes of this are up and front, down. Not back, not out. Up and front, down. And this will make a circle, kind of like when we're top speed running. So, toes are up, but on this one, we actually want to hit our entire foot on the ground, not necessarily the balls of our feet. We'll end up on the balls of our feet if we're really tall and really bouncy, but our ankle circles, first drill, basically we're doing this, little circles up in front and down, lifting with the knee and the toe. If you were a puppet and there was a string on the middle of your thigh and on your big toe, both of those things come up in front and down. If I were to chop you in half, everything feels in front of your body, but remember, not this way. This is what the ankle, this is what the ankle dribble looks like. Toes are up, nice and bouncy, up, in front, straight down, ankle dribbles. Next, and one other thing is be careful not to just go front, back, front, back, front, back. Let yourself bend a little bit to make that circle action. Shin circles. So instead of making circles over my shins, small, this would be like a medium, medium sized. Another way to think about this, if this is a regular A position, ankle circles is a small A position. So consequently, shin circles, shin dribbles, is a medium A position. So I should see that on every step. My toes are up in the shoes, I'm gonna hit my whole foot on the ground, tall, bouncy, lifting with my knee in front. This is not a race, get a lot of high quality, high quality contacts in. Last, knee dribbles. Now, big size, full size, I should see your A position on every step, up and front, down, not out. Looks like this, basically high knees, keep your toes off the ground. Really tall, really bouncy, again. Then we have our ankle knee runouts. So we're gonna start putting these all together. And the theme is as your circles get bigger, you also move faster moving forwards. Not faster steps, faster actual speed. So for example, I'll show this as two and a half yards, two and a half yards, and then a run out, but the yards will depend. Toes up, ankle circles, halfway, knees a little faster, and then turn back into a sprint without changing your form. The biggest thing with this is that you will want to drop and drive, I call it, going from knee circles into the sprint. You'll be here, nice knee circles, and then everything will drop. It's a smooth transition, that's why you have let's say 15 yards on the run out. So go knees, and then keep the knees up, and the head up for the sprint.